Eddie Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Glover Teixeira. Big fight ahead of you here with um, James Tahuna. And I'm hearing from different people that he actually asked to fight you when Ryan Bader fell out of the fight. What do you think about that? I think it's great. You know, he's a, he's a great opponent and uh, he's a, you know, an excited fighter. So I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. Were you disappointed at all that Ryan Bader got injured and you're missing out on that fight? Not at all. You know, it's part of the game. You know, you, you know, you, you're gonna fight somebody. You expect like he's he trains a hard training, so that can happen with me sometime. I hope not, but you know, you you just um, you just you gotta be prepared for so they can change it. You know. You have an 18 fight win streak going. That's incredible. What do you do in your training coming up for each opponent to keep it new, to keep it challenging for yourself? You know, I haven't done anything. Uh, anything different like uh, all my fights I train the same way I train a lot of wrestling a lot of uh, a lot of jiu-jitsu a lot of stand-up but uh, you know I just change my uh, I go and I ask my friends to come here like similar to the guys that I'm fighting you know like like when I fought uh, what's my first fight uh, Kyle Kingsbury I, I, I bring a tall guy you know and um, I always change like the, the guys that I'm training with but uh yeah, I don't. Uh, it, it's funny though because I trained with Lioto for my last fight with uh, Rampage, so it's totally different uh, style. But you know, it depends how you train, how you push, and uh, you in shape, and you be. A, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that make a lot of difference. You know. What about the the Rampage fight? That was the last one you had. Did it really feel like it was a new level of a challenge for you, a new kind of skill set against a new fighter? Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a big step and. Uh, you know, Rampage is a great fighter and, and big name, and uh, I was happy. I was happy with that fight. You were touted as one of the new talents of the light heavyweight division. How many fights do you feel like it'll take for you to break into the, I guess, maybe a title shot opportunity? Uh, it depends on, on them, you know. I, I I push myself. I train very hard to, to put an excited fight and um, and looking for knockout or submission so they can put me quicker over there. But it uh, depends on them. I'd say maybe two or three fights. Tejuna's a pretty tough guy, and uh, you have to get past him. I was looking at a few things on his record. The submission losses on his side stand out. Is that maybe an approach that you've looked at as far as trying to get the edge on him to using your submission game or your Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Uh, you know, I see what's open. You know, he's, they have some open stand-up, too. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that I, I have keep my eyes open and fight. You know, I, keep, I, I like to see a lot of the opens, like in this, and the fight if he, if you open up for takedown, I go for and uh, I'm gonna I'm pretty well to train in the, in, the, in the ground, so I'm good to go. You train, of course, with John Hackleman at the pit and also Chuck Liddell. I, I think he's still there, right? Training with you also. What is that experience like on a day to day basis working with experts at what they do? Oh, they great training, you know. Uh, Chuck, Chuck, and uh, you know, is. Um, very exper experienced fighter and John, you know, he trained uh, he's a great, he trained Chuck when he was a champ and uh, he been training Chuck and a bunch of other fighters, There's a bunch of fighters at the pit and I'm just happy because those guys, they know you know, they, I feel comfortable with them and uh, Connecticut, yeah, that's where you live now it just got approved to have uh, MMA as being legal in the state Does, is that exciting for you? Do you hope maybe to fight in Connecticut sometime soon? Yeah, very excited, I hope so, yeah I was like, I was, uh, I was ruined for that and definitely my friends all going to go well, We look forward to your fight on Saturday and good luck, Lover Thank you Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with James Tahuna. You're getting in uh, to here with Glover Teixeira. You came in as a late replacement. How pumped are you for this fight? Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped as, man. I went, I went to this fight, to, uh, I went to this match, and now uh, I had 10 weeks to prepare. Even though it was a, you know, it was a um, beta pulled out, so that's, that's enough time. Also, come off a, a fight against um, Ryan, Ryan Jimmo, and um, yeah, I'm fight fit, and I've come straight into this one with a, a fresh game plan. That was a really great fight for you, the way you battled back against adversity with Ryan Jimmo there. Uh, what do you take from that experience into this fight? Um, yeah, I, I had a few things going on in camp before that fight. 
Um, so I, you know, changed some th- things around in this camp, and it's nothing but it's, it's been a great camp. I've had great sparring partners, great training partners. I've had a, 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 a K1. I came on fighter helmet out with sparring. I've had Danny Green, he's a three time IBF world champion. He was the, the guy to knock out Roy Jones in the first round. This is a couple of years ago. Um, so I've had all these guys surrounded by good guys. And um, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for this fight. It's your first time in Vegas, also, if I'm not mistaken, for the UFC. Yeah, right. How? Uh, what's it like being here with Fight Week, the Media Week? What's the experience been like? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, Vegas is the um, the UFC capital of the world. Um, yeah, it's just great to see how popular UFC and MMA is here in um, here in Vegas, and uh, I can't wait to get in there. Uh, when did you arrive in town? I'm just curious. Like, has the acclimation process taken any kind of effect coming from New Zealand? Uh, you live in Australia now, yeah, right? Yeah, I live in Australia now. Yeah. Uh, we come just a week before the fight, so seven days is enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, just the four fight win streak that you've been on. How much does that give you the confidence to go in against a guy that's notably dangerous like Lover Teixeira? Uh, yeah, it's good to have that momentum. Glover's on 18, 17, 18, 17 fight win streak too, you know? 18? I don't know. It's a big one anyway. But um, he's on a big win streak too, you know? He's got huge momentum behind him. He's confident. I'm confident. Um, it doesn't really mean much. Uh, the last guy I fought, Jimmo, he had, he had a 17 fight win streak, so this one, yeah, doesn't really mean much to me. Can we expect any kind of walkout like you had the last time with the men in black? Uh, who knows? You just have to keep your eye open. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for your time, James. Thanks a lot.